Greetings. In the 60s, the Black Panthers had a slogan. And the slogan went, all power to the people. Now, this was a revolutionary chant that meant that they wanted to take some of the power away from politicians and police because they were brutalizing the black communities. And they wanted to give more of the power to the communities themselves, the power to house themselves, the power to provide their own food, shelter, the power to provide their own jobs, and the power to defend themselves. Who knew that the slogan, power to the people, or as I should say, all power to the people, would have a dual meaning as we go into the future? So let's talk about it. Let's talk about this international global revolution. charging people money for everything they get. We're saying the music is free, the life is free, the world is free, and if it ain't free, let's start getting our chains off now. The psychological chains and the chains of oppression. Let's get it off now. Let's move the chains off of us. Because if we don't move the chains off of us, they're going to annihilate us. They're going to annihilate us by producing the earth. The capitalists and the fascists, they're going to do this here. We're saying the universe belongs to the people. The moon belongs to the people. Mars belongs to the people. And the people belong to the people. All power to the people. Now this slogan, all power to the people, was a black power chant. But what I want to lay on the table is the slogan, all power to the people, looks like in the future it should become a chant of an international global revolution. Now I know some of you say, what is this international global revolution all about? Well, it's about machines, robots, and automation replacing human beings. You see, because the Babylon system is planning to replace people with machines, robots, and automation. This is a plot by the filthy rich, the trillion and billionaires. And they designed this plot because they have decided that they can live on this planet by themselves. Why would they have to share the planet? Why not just have it all to themselves? Why not use people to get the income and to, you know, give them some time to develop a world that's ran through machinery and then slowly eliminate the people and have the machinery serve them and they wouldn't have to worry about buying land and they wouldn't have to worry about permits or anything. You know, a few thousand people could have the whole planet to themselves. And that's the plan. So I predict that when people wake up, there's going to be an international global revolution. Now let's get into detail. Now first I want to break down the mentality that's being promoted that backs up what I'm saying about the rich trying to have the world all to themselves. 
you see at the bottom of the food chain of the rich are the thousand and millionaires. So if you look into hip hop music, you'll see these thousand and millionaires and they are being programmed to rap about being special, about having money while others don't. You hear it in the music all the time. I got the big Bentley, you don't. I can come take your girl because I got a lot of money. I got a lot of big chains and you don't. Rich niggas to the left, broke niggas to the right. You hear it all the time. You know, you hear it in the two chain song. You know what I'm saying? You hear it in a lot of songs out here by these rappers where these rappers are promoting a mentality that I got money so I'm better than you and you're obsolete. But what the rappers don't know is that they're also a part of that equation. They are not in the plan. They're not in the plan at all. You could take a place like Aspen. Aspen used to be run by millionaires like rappers. But what happened? 50 billionaires came in there, and now the 50 billionaires have pushed the millionaires out and are setting it up for trillionaires. So pretty soon it'll be trillionaires and billionaires there. There won't be no millionaires in Aspen. They'll be priced out and ran out. So the same thing that the rappers are rapping about, the billionaires are thinking about them. While a rapper is looking down on his community saying, I got two Bentleys, the billionaire is saying, I make the Bentley, and you're nobody, and I can take your girl. And this mentality is being promoted because the overall plan is just that, to eliminate all of the poor middle class and the millionaires. They are, will be considered poor. Now let me explain why millionaires are poor. Look at the grading system in school. If there's 100 points, if you get a 50 and under, that's an F. Okay. Now, let's take that in terms of dollars. If you take the richest man in the world, let's say he got $50 billion. That means everything under $25 billion is in the range of poverty. So that might be an exaggeration, but it's safe to say that there's a whole lot of billionaires. And so a half a billion and under is in the poverty league. Now, some people say, nah, if you got a half a billion, if you got two billion, you're still rich. Okay, I'll give you that. But I tell you what, you are not rich if you got a million. A million dollars ain't nothing no more. The taxes alone on a million dollars, right off the top, put you at 700000 or 500000 So you need two million to even have a million. And then what can you buy with a million dollars? Nothing. Because whatever you buy, you're not going to be able to afford to upkeep. So people are being priced out. And they plan to replace you with machineries. There's not going to be banks tellers anymore. There's not going to be people driving cars anymore. There's not going to be people working in the restaurant in the fast food industry no more. There's not going to be garbage men no more. Robots are going to come get your garbage. There's not going to be police write tickets. Robots are going to roll up and down the street and write tickets. There's not going to be police giving speed tickets. Speed cameras are going to give the tickets. There's not going to be police giving tickets for running red lights. Red light cameras are going to do that. Pretty soon the police department will be all automated. Robocop. Look at the situation. They take a police officer. They say, you know what? You're violating too many uh, civil rights. We want to put, we want to give you a taser. You, you, you're going too far with your gun. We want to put a camera on you. We want to put all this electronic equipment on you. So basically they're taking a human police and they're equipping him, equipping him with all these electronic devices. Why? Because eventually 
they're going to put those electronic devices automatically are going to be made into the robot and they're not going to need the cop at all. The cop is just an imitation robot ready to be replaced. Bank teller? Obsolete. Uber? Taxi? Bus driver? Obsolete. Airplane pilot? Obsolete. Police officer? RoboCop will be doing that. Obsolete. So if all of these jobs will become obsolete, what's the overall plan for people? The plan is extermination. Self-driving cars, stores that are fully automated, automatic banks, those are all designed for a few rich people. Those are not designed for the masses of the population. They are using you right now to keep putting in money to make them richer so they can develop automated businesses and then turn around and eliminate you with your own money that you spent. This is for all people. Let's look at the black community. The black community always has less money from taxes because a lot of times they rent. The money they pay for rent goes to someone that doesn't live in the community. And that's counted on their taxes and their schools are better. Their stores are better. Which means in the better community, they'll be the ones that have the fanciest stores. So in other words, in their most influential communities will be the first communities that will begin to fire human beings and replace them with robots and automation. And when you blink, you won't have a job. You won't have anything. All of this is based around the cashless society. They're planning a cashless society, Uber and Lyft. You get an Uber, no cash exchange. You go to the store, you got your debit card, you got your credit card. No ch cash exchanged. You go on the internet and buy stuff. No cash exchanged. Okay? Because they're planning to have a cashless society, and within that cashless society, they're planning to starve out so many people, make so many people homeless, have so many people catch diseases and die and get sick that they can eliminate them. That's why they are brainwashing the masses of the people to eat the food you're eating. Okay, as fast as I go on here and tell you to go vegan, Arby's come on and tell you, we have the meat. See, they want you to eat the meat. They want you to get sick and they want you to take the drugs. That's why it's the Food and Drug Administration. Sell you the bad food, make you sick, sell you the drugs to take the rest of your money and kill you off. Because the drugs don't heal you. They just take you further into death. And the only reason they're not wiping you out and releasing more diseases they got from the CDC is because they need you because their robots and their automation is not quite efficient yet. Their self-driving cars are not efficient yet. Now people say self-driving cars will never work because they'll run over people. What people? It ain't gonna be no people. That's what you're not understanding. It's only gonna be a few people on the whole planet. Now those of us that believe in the Creator, we know that these plans will not work. I don't know what an atheist would believe at this point because the atheist does not believe in the Creator. And to me, atheists are weak because they are revolt against religion, but they don't revolt against the Babylon system. They're actually a part of the Babylon system, so they cannot be taken seriously. They are a part of the manipulation of the system. They support the system. I doubt if they even believe in the powers of nature and that Mother Nature will destroy this planet 
as it is or the, the, the world that's on the planet. It won't destroy the planet, but it'll destroy the world that has been built on top of the planet because it's corrupt. Okay, we live in a world that doesn't respect plants, doesn't respect animals, and doesn't respect people. And this is done by the filthy rich that are planning to have robots take all of your jobs and then have you all die from wars, diseases, pestilence, starvation, and also FEMA camps. So when you look at robots and computers taking over, then you have to say to yourself, all power to the people is going to be the international global revolutionary chant. Now, some people will say, uh, I don't see that's happening. Okay, well, watch these clips and then think about it. So as you can see, plans are being made to eliminate you, to eliminate the need for you. You have to ask yourself, if they're going to eliminate people to sell the food, then that means a lot of people that work at food places won't be having a job. So how are they going to buy food? If they're going to eliminate Uber drivers and bus drivers and cab drivers and police from driving around and everybody from driving around, how were the drivers going to buy a car? I'll tell you, because they're not planning for you to be here. They know that if they eliminate these jobs, that you won't be able to put no money back into the system. It's common sense. Okay, so you don't have no cashiers in the store. How many cashiers buy food? So if you eliminate all the cashiers and all the stores across the world, how are they going to buy food? Then people say, well, they'll get a different job. What, driving? Because they're going to eliminate the drivers. I mean, name the jobs you're going to be able to do because they're going to be far and few. Okay? Far and few in between. That's the jobs that will be available. And they're eliminating these jobs. And when they eliminate these jobs, the same product that is eliminating these jobs, these people that lost those jobs selling these products or doing this public service, these people won't even be able to afford to use the services or go to the stores they used to work at. Think about that. If you don't have no Uber drivers, no taxi drivers, no cab drivers, no bus drivers, how are those people going to eat? There's no plan for them to eat. There's no plan to replace another job for them. There's a plan to kill them. You better know it. And so I know, I see people, that's why I started, I started to make these uh, videos, revolutionary concepts, because I see people talking about revolution, 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 but they have no idea what they're talking about. You know, Bob Marley said in his song, Zimbabwe, soon we will find out who is the real revolutionary. So the way I see it, people will rebel. There will eventually be an international global revolution. People will be fighting for their very existence. This is a type of revolution and the type of problems in this world that 
many of your best teachers and scholars and lecturers, they will not talk about. They're very silent. Their minds is very local. And they're not preparing you people out there for what's really going on. You see, all these world wars and small time revolutions, they're a thing of the past. You know, I've seen a lot of people, they was trying to respect Castro, but he's a dinosaur. Revolutions, people having a revolution is a thing of the past until that last big revolt against the mark of the beast and the cast of society. The next big revolution will be people revolting against automation and a cashless society. That is the next big revolution. But it won't happen until people wake up and realize that their backs are against the wall. And when the first million of them are lasered to death or electric shocked, or gas, burnt, and pushed into a hole. Because there are plans to eliminate people so that the rich can have their whole planet to themselves. Just look. From the black conscious community into the hip-hop, into the European way of life, the Asian way of life, people in India, people in Africa. If you look, you'll see the new mentality that they're pushing is, I'm going to get mine and the rest of y'all is animals. The rest of y'all, y'all ain't going to get nothing. So yeah, the ultimate revolution is going to be the revolution against the automated society and the cashless society, the mark of the beast. That's going to be the ultimate international, global Revolution. All other revolutions are a joke. The idea you're going to have a revolution and that you're going to be like that bum Castro is a joke. Why? Because Castro was getting weapons from the Russians. And how are you going to have a revolution? Who are you going to get weapons from? Because there ain't going to be no weapons. The, the idea of weaponry that you got in your mind, the guns that you see down and all that, those guns you got are like CDs, are like um, uh, cassette tapes. Nobody's messing with cassette tapes or CDs no more. Warfare as you've known it in the past is over. It's all drones now. It's all automation. This is why they're training your children to go and do war games on the computer on the Xbox and on the PlayStation. It's new weaponry. You won't have access to the new weaponry. All those revolutionaries that get those guns, the only reason they give them that shit is because it's obsolete. So when Russia gets some weapons that's no more good and make new weapons, they go give Cuba the old weapons. They go to Africa and find some suckers in Africa and say, you want to have a revolution? And then give them the old weapons that ain't no good. Same game that was ran on the Native Americans. Give you guns that shoot crooked and that might blow up right back on you. Give you guns that they can come back and beat you with. The man that give you the guns, make sure he always got a better gun. See, they're not going to be using those type of weapons anymore. They're not even going to be using people. All of future wars and disturbances will be handled with drones and missiles and rockets. Airplanes that fly with no pilot and can just bomb you and keep on going. Lasers from satellites. So all these little human being revolutions will be a thing of the past because there won't be any weaponry for you to buy. Those weapons are about to be all melted down and destroyed. They don't need that anymore.
Most of the people that's being killed right now that they call terrorists, most of them are being killed with drones and being bombs being dropped on them from way up in the air. And they're right now planning to get rid of pilots. There ain't going to be no pilots in these planes no more. You see, there's no plans for everybody to be on this planet. Future plans is to automate everything, make it a cashless society, start eliminating, eliminating any use for people. All of a sudden, people will catch all these different diseases, which these billionaires and trillionaires, they'll already have cures for. They'll already be inoculated. They already know how to create natural disasters. They already control all the food and everything so they can starve you out. They can put you in a bad situation where you're poor. Like what they're doing to a lot of neighborhoods in Chicago. They're starving the people out and creating this war. That's why you see a lot of murder going on. It's all the economy. So there's going to be an international global revolution when people realize that the filthy, filthy rich are planning to have robots conquer us. So when you look at RoboCop and Terminator, you are looking at prophecy being fulfilled in the movie. A lot of prophecy that used to be written in scriptures like the Bible are now done through movies like Alfred Hitchcock and the birds. The birds really are going to attack like RoboCop, like Terminator. These are prophecies. These are visions given to movie directors to show to the public. A lot of times the movie directors don't even know that they are being led by the creator to make these things. This is why people say, well, the Bible wasn't written by God. It was the creator, the one that inspired the prophets, Isaiah's and the Zacharias and the Ezekiel's. They were inspired to say certain things. A lot of times not even really fully understanding what they were saying. This is what you got to realize. And that's what's going on with the movies. The movies are showing you everything. If you think I'm lying, go look at the final conflict. Damien, Omen, go watch that series. And you'll see that Damien ran a company called what? Thorn that tried to control all the food. If that don't sound like Monsanto, what is? And Monsanto was taken over by Bayer Aspirin recently. So they are taking over your food. They are taking over all the industries. They are going to replace you with robots and you're going to be obsolete. And you either going to stand up and fight or you are going to starve to death. Now, you know, as a lot of these uh, black conscious people, they swear up and down that the Bible is false, but they never argue the prophecies. According to the Bible, in the last days, you will not be able to buy nor sell without a mark on your hand and your forehead. I challenge anybody to prove that to be wrong. Anybody. Give me your best scholar, your best anti-Bible person. Tell them to show me where that's not already in effect now. Tell me that you have not been given a debit card because you had bad credit. They found a way to put you on the system. You see, because people say ain't going to be no mark of the beast. The mark, what do they call money in Germany? Marks, right? Money is already the mark of the beast. Credit cards are already the mark of the beast. It's just you haven't committed the ultimate atrocity by printing it on your skin and thereby giving yourself over to the evil powers that control the world that is built on the earth. They don't control the earth, but they control the world. And once you put that on your hand or your forehead, you have totally abandoned your creator, your maker. and you have sold out, at that point, there will be a global international revolution because those of us that will not take that mark will have the green light 
to kill those of you that do take it, and you all will have the green light to kill us, okay? If you're walking down the street with food and the, and the robocop pulls you over and catches you with food and you don't have a mark on you, you will be charged with stealing because how did you get the food? You're not going to be allowed to have anything unless you can show that you could go purchase it. Real talk. So, who has eyes to see, let them see. And who has ears to hear, let them hear. One.